If you've ever recorded multiple camera angles for your videos, whether it's a podcast interview or even just two angles for a talking head video like this one, and you felt overwhelmed trying to edit them together, this video is for you. Today, I'm diving into the game-changing multi-cam editing feature inside a CapCut's desktop app. I'll show you step-by-step -step how easy it is to seamlessly switch between camera angles, turning your footage into engaging professional content. If that sounds helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on future content creation tips. I mean, this is a pro feature that you find on like Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro, um, DaVinci Resolve, more professional editing software. So I'm really shocked that CapCut came out with this because this just brings it one step closer to a professional editing software. It already has so much to offer with all the transitions and the effects and the captions and everything else. So I'm really blown away by this. So I'm excited to show you guys this, but just know it is a free feature and CapCut is notorious for making things that are free just just getting us hooked on them and then making them part of their pro or paid version of the app so at the time of shooting this video i just want to let you guys know this is a free feature and i'm excited to show it to you but i can't guarantee that it will be free forever so with that being known that little disclosure let's get into a project and i'll show you two really awesome ways that i use this feature okay so we're in an open project inside of CapCut. i'm going to show you guys two common ways to use this feature so the first way to use it is i'm going to edit a podcast episode and here i have some clips i have this clip of myself i have another clip of my guest damien and this is the wide angle shot that i took on the osmo pocket 3 of both of us and the osmo pocket 3 the way that it works is it will shoot there's no real recording limit but it does separate the files so in this case this is a 58 minute clip and it separated the uh, files on the osmo pocket 3 into two shorter files so what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight all the files so i'm just holding down shift i'm clicking on all the files the other way you can do is you can drag and go like this but i'm going to hold down shift and do this because I also have a couple other clips in here that I don't want to select. And then from here, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to select create multi-cam clip. And you'll see here in purple, it says free, which kind of gives me an indication that at some point this is going to flip and it's going to say pro, but right now it does say free. And it's been like this for quite a few months. So once you get into here, it gives you a couple options here, either auto or audio. I'm going to select auto, but I will say that it does use the audio in order to sync these clips. So one thing you want to be mindful of is you want to make sure that you have audio on all your clips. So every camera angle you need to record audio or this will not work. One other thing we can do is we can turn on proxies and what this does is it creates uh, proxy clips and this is helpful if you have a slower machine and you don't want your edit to be bogged down while editing this can be helpful I don't need to do that right now I have a, a pretty decent MacBook here so I'm gonna leave that off and I'm gonna create the multicam clip all right guys a few seconds later and we have our multicam clip created and you can see up here this is basically your multicam uh, window here your editing window so I'll move this up a little bit here all right, so now you can see all of your multi-cam angles right here. We have our, our first angle, second angle of my guest, third angle of both of us. So this fourth angle here is remember that this actual third angle was actually broken into two clips. So the way that this worked is that it, sunk, it synced this uh, third angle in two different spots actually. So as we get deeper into the timeline, you'll see this is actually that other angle. So now it's the fourth angle. And if you really wanted to see all of them, you could actually go down here and you can, it'll actually show nine camera angles. And now you can see the audio angle as well. There's no real reason to bring this up outside of you want to make sure that this audio is the one that's selected. Okay. So you'll see every one of these clips has the audio here, not selected, but then my audio track that I also synced with everything is what's selected. So now I know I have my high quality audio as the audio that it's selected inside of my multi-cam sequence. So from here, it gets pretty fun. So now all you have to do, watch back your video and you'll see here, I have Damien talking right here. So my guest is talking and now I just selected the second camera angle. So it's him talking. And as soon as I go to talk, all I have to do on my keyboard is select one and now it'll switch to me. As we start to talk, um, as he starts to talk again, I can just select two here select two and it cuts back to him right i could select three and it'll go to the k 
camera angle that has all of us, right? And we can just go through the camera angles just like that, okay? When we get to the end of this, when this third angle actually switches to the fourth angle, then it's just, it's just as simple as me selecting one, two, or four. If I select it now, there's nothing there. So really, really easy. The other thing you can do if you're creating this sort of podcast or long format content is you can actually scrub through. So you see here, I just pressed L. Let me show you up here in the shortcuts. Right, I have my mine set to shortcut five. You guys probably all have yours set to shortcut one. It doesn't matter, you can change all these, right? But if you go down here to where it says shuttle right, what that means is it's basically gonna fast forward through the video. And now you can watch it back at like a 2x speed or something. And you can just make all the cuts. So if I was to do that, I can select L and now it's going really fast. And I can just go through as it's as it switches from each person speaking and I can just cut to the different person, right? So now I'm speaking and go to a wide angle. Now he's now Damien's speaking. So now I can switch to him. Is this a really quick, efficient way to edit a podcast or really anything uh, where you need to edit multiple camera angles in? I want to point out really quick that each time I switch camera angles, you'll see here on the timeline, it actually makes a cut. If for some reason I selected a camera angle and I realize now like, oh man, I made a mistake. I can just select that clip and then I can change that camera angle to whatever camera angle I wanted it to be. So if you're shuttling through and you make a mistake, you do not have to worry. I'll zoom in a little bit. You do not have to worry. You can actually just always go back. You can change your camera angle to whichever one you wanted it to be on. Quick reminder, if you're finding value in this tutorial, take a second right now to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me create more helpful content like this. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys really quick another way that you might wanna use this. And I'm gonna bring in a couple more clips, only this time I'm just gonna throw them down onto the timeline. Okay, what I have here is I have some batch recorded reels. I think there's probably six reels here recorded um, that I created because I like to batch record everything that I do. And you'll see here a side angle as well as a front angle. You see here I actually switched shirts here in the middle of this recording so just to try to uh, put off the illusion that it wasn't the same day. I know I record my higher quality audio on this angle that's like the angle that's facing me versus this angle that's from the side. So I noticed that whenever I create a multicam sequence, whichever clip is on the bottom is always the one that it defaults to and it goes to audio, but it's really easy to switch as I showed you on the last example. So you just seen, I can just move this up and I can use, you know, this side angle as my top layer. And then this bottom layer here is my front angle. And now it's really easy. All I gotta do is I just highlight both, right click, and then we're gonna go create multicam clip. Here you'll see that there's actually three options. It's auto, audio, or first marker, which is just basically lining the clips up at the beginning of the clips. That's not gonna work in this particular case because the clips are not exact, meaning I didn't turn on the cameras at the exact same time. There's a couple second delay between when I turned on each camera. So we want it to sync by audio, but I'm just gonna select auto because it always seems to do a great job. We'll select create. And now we have our multicam sequence and you can see here in the preview window where my audio is coming from. It's coming from my A cam or the cam that was right in front of me. And that's the one I wanted it to be because that was the one that had my mic hook up to, hooked up to it, which I actually use a shotgun mic that you can see. You can't see it, but it's right out of frame right here. And that's what I used on these videos. And on this B angle, there's also audio recorded. It's just not my high quality audio. It's just the in-camera microphone that was recording my audio. So now that I have this clip all set up in here, I'll select my first angle, okay? And now what I'll do is I'll watch this back as well. And whenever I make a mistake in here, because of course it's inevitable when people are recording videos, they're gonna make a mistake. You're gonna wanna make a cut where you made that mistake. So in my case, I actually can just make a quick cut here just for an example. And I can go cut out the mistake. We'll make another cut. We can do that either selecting this split and you'll also see that I have my shortcut set to C on the keyboard so I can move this playhead anywhere and just select C and it'll make a cut. 
okay? And I'll just delete whichever part of this I don't want or wherever I made a mistake. And then I'll go ahead and I'll cut to my B cam when I come back from my mistake, if that makes sense. So every time I make a cut in whatever type of professional type of video I'm trying to make, if I'm trying to make an educational video, if I make a mistake when I'm talking, instead of just jumping all over the place and always cutting in a professional style video, is I'll just cut to the B cam really quick. And then as soon as, you know, I've been on the B cam for a few seconds, I'll cut back to the A cam. And that way it looks intentional. It doesn't look like a, a bunch of jump cuts, if that makes sense. It just looks like he intentionally cut to another angle to keep the video interesting. But in all actuality, I usually do that because I screwed up when I was talking and I didn't want it to be just a, a jump cut where I'm here and then all of a sudden I screw up and then there's a jump cut and all of a sudden I'm slightly over this way or slightly this way. It just doesn't seem to look as good. It doesn't look as professional. So. That's how I use the multicam edit feature inside of CapCut. It came out a few months ago. I should have put out this video a few months ago. I didn't do it, but here it is. And I hope that you guys get some use out of this. I know that I do. It's an amazing feature. And again, I can't believe that it's free inside of CapCut. This app is getting insane. And that's how you use the multicam editing feature in CapCut Desktop. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more CapCut tips and editing tricks. Also be sure to check out my other videos. I have one right here where I dive deeper into the advanced editing features inside of CapCut. See you guys over there.